A grand iftar returns to Bristol tonight to celebrate the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. It'll acknowledge the city's diversity, with non-Muslims also invited to experience the breaking of the fast. But this had to be a last-minute change. Scott Ellis is there for us now. Scott. Not just in this city, but across the world and across the country. So I'm afraid, Will, celebrate. that rain got so the better of the Grand Iftar this uh, year in Bristol. They were laying out the tarpaulin on St Mark's no Road. Me. They were going to put the carpet on top so everybody could sit um, down outdoors and eat and together. Everybody. But nobody wants a soggy carpet. The heavens opened yeah, and we're inside we listening to speeches here at the Bangladesh Centre where they're handing out the food. The curries are here and they're handing out dates and having a few speeches. So it's all going well indoors. Of course, the Iftar, the Grand Iftar in Bristol started in 2017. 6,000 people turned up in 2019. They've had to limit the numbers this year a bit, but it's still lots of organizing for the volunteers. And of course, if you're one of the chefs making all those curries, you've got some work to do as well. Rana and Nichette getting ready to feed several hundred people. On the menu, vegetable curry and rice to be shared out in Bristol's annual Grand Iftar, a street-based celebration of breaking the fast of Ramadan at sunset. It's, it's very important for everyone to share food and to share our culture with different people, different community. Iftar is very important to people who've been fasting all day, but to be there with other people who wants to find out about your religion, your culture is even extra. For Muslims, Ramadan's not just about fasting and iftar. Those like Arif Khan also do charitable work during Ramadan. In his case, handing out prayer mats and copies of the Quran in hospices and hospitals in the West. When I um, delivered the Qurans, they, um, especially some of the sisters, they picked up, they started kissing them with joy that they got a Quran. And especially in the holy month of Ramadan, you tend to read and listen to more to the holy, holy Quran because this was the month that the Quran was revealed in. There are other grand iftars coming up next Thursday at College Green in Bristol and on Sunday a grand iftar for Palestine. All faiths shocked by the suffering in Gaza. Around the world, uh, anyone su shouldn't be suffering from the food. And we do feel people, especially in the Gaza and any other war zone around the world, and that shouldn't be happening. And that's really heartbreaking. And, uh, you know, we feel for everyone. As the organizers of the Grand Iftar say, sharing a simple meal can be a starting point for better understanding. Scott Ellis at the Grand Iftar.